here and today I'm bringing you guys another video and I've just got a new headset as I put in my video on Wednesday my old headset broke uh, if I come over here I can show you it so this is my old headset Turtle Beaches as you can see I got some tape on here that doesn't really do anything uh, basically what happened is that this uh, the connector to where the earpiece goes it sort of snapped so as you can see that wiggles around whereas the other one doesn't um, so the microphone still worked, that was the microphone that I used before, however, you couldn't really use the headset, the headset worked, but the ear was like, that way, like you had one that was like, nicely tucked on your ear, and then the other one was way over there, so I'd use that for the headphones, that for the mic, but today I got this new headset, now, fun fact for you guys, um, I actually, basically got scammed on Amazon for this, so I hope that, um, I haven't made a bad choice really because what I bought on Amazon was what it says here if it goes into focus come on focus right it's sort of focused come on Hold on let me just do this I saw people do that and it was working and it's not I don't know whether that's because my hand or not there we go you can see it just enough so it says Aesbo uh, 3.5 millimeter gaming um, for PC laptop um, red. That's what I brought. Well, this ain't an Aesbo. I don't know what Aesbo is. This is a G1000 from Action Each, um, which is actually quite funny. I should have probably known this. Um, bearing in mind that when I searched this up on YouTube for mic quality and stuff, it kept coming up with this. So as far as I'm aware, this is actually quite good for the price. Um, so I paid $16.99 for this. Apparently it was supposed to be 70 quid, but I highly doubt that now. Um, so that's probably why it was that reduction. Um, so yeah, we're going to see, basically we're going to unbox it, do a mic test and whatnot. Uh, it's probably going to be two completely different points a day. So I might sound really tired in the mic test. But we're going to see what happens. So... As always, I can't really do an unboxing video properly, so this is going to be fun because I can't hold the camera and unbox at the same time. Um, don't know why, I've never been able to do it. So, let's take this bit out. And it's just a standard normal box. I'm hoping that these are brand new as well. Um, like I said, wouldn't surprise me if they're not. So they actually are red, which is cool. Um, this wire is weird, um, it's like, f um, it's an actual fabric, it's, um, I can't think what bloody fabric's called now, <laughs> but it's not an actual, like, wire, like, um, if you feel, you know, a normal wire, it's got, you, you everyone knows what a wire feels like, but this isn't what it feels like, <laughs> um, so one thing that is to note is that these change colour, like the, um, so obviously this bit stays red, uh, hold on, let me just put the camera down for a second. Alright, so that's where they are, so obviously this bit says red, but these here, these actually light up apparently seven different colours, I'm guessing the colours of the rainbow, yeah it looks like the colours of the rainbow, um, via the USB cable, so I'm wondering whether you can not use USB cable and just use these two colours, um, yeah, so what we're going to do, um, I'm going to obviously go plug it in, first thoughts, they are bloody huge, uh, the ears are absolutely massive, it's literally the size of my palm my hand. Um, they feel quite nice actually. Uh, the padding is all sponge, um, rather than like a soft fabric. So that might get a bit annoying when you sweat. Um, but yeah, other than that, they feel quite sturdy. Um, it, it feels like it's metal coated but still plastic, so I didn't expect anything less. Um, you got the microphone here, which can bend, apparently it doesn't stay, yeah, you can see, oh, sorry, I'm, the camera's wrong, you can see it doesn't stay fully, but it doesn't do too bad of a job, uh, so yeah, you can move it around wherever. So I'm going to plug these guys in, take my old headphones out, and we'll see what happens, so I will meet you in the next segment, peace. Okay, so I've used these just quickly, five minutes, nothing really too much, um, and I've already made quite a 
big judgment on them really um so the first thing is you do not need the usb in uh, at the moment i've got it in as you can see with these ears uh they do change color um as you see it went from light blue to dark blue uh whatnot it's really hard to see on this camera uh but they do change color uh i don't think i'll stick with them so you can see they're now red i don't think i'll stick with the color uh but it's a nice little touch um the noise cancel is really really good on them um for the headphones anyway uh while i'm speaking i can hardly hear myself um which means i'm probably speaking really really loudly but i can hardly hear myself um i listen to some songs i listen to three songs actually no i listen to two songs i listen to two songs one's got a very very clean not really anything there just vocals um and a bit of background noise and the other one was a dubstep song and the judgment i can come with is they're not the best for audio uh in terms of like music they they do uh they work you know um for 16.99 you can't complain however i think my turtle beaches were a bit better not too much it's, it's, it's noticeable but it's not big if you know what i mean um you know it's like 80 percent to 100 percent, for example um so yeah i think the turtle beaches were better in terms of quality but then these were 16.99 they were when i got them 40.99 so there is uh, you know i'm basically half price so you can't really complain um, I think the reason for that might be because these are actually Chinese. Uh, I looked in the box, they're actually from China. So I have no idea who actually made these bloody headphones. Because I think it's three different bloody companies. Um, it's really, really confusing. Um, as for the mic, obviously you guys can judge while you're hearing this. Uh, I did put the uh, my noise cancelling thing from my Turtle Beach. I don't think it's actually making any difference whatsoever. But I decided to put that on there, see whether it made any difference. Uh, I went into Audacity, and firstly I listened to it um, as soon as I, you know, uh, just as soon as I plugged it in, I listened to it, and I noticed there was like some background noise. Now I've tried to take it out. I hope that I've taken it out. Um, I know my settings are a bit different on OBS, so actually let me change it real quick. Um, it's what I've got with the audio is that it cuts out after a noise gate, as far as I'm aware. So let me just see if I can. All right. So I've turned the noise gate off. I'm just going to... I have no idea if you guys can hear anything. Um, one thing I did notice when I was doing Auda uh, when I was in Audacity and looking at is you could um, almost not hit... It wasn't like background noise. It was almost like white noise. Um, it was really, really weird. Um, but you could hear something uh, in the background. It wasn't annoying. Like with the Turtle Beach, uh, if I had it over 100%... Uh, if I had it on 100% uh, sound, which on nvidia was most of the time unfortunately you would hear this uh crackly sound that isn't on here at least or it wasn't when i was testing it uh so what i decided to do is i went in the window settings went on microphone and i turned the microphone boost from 30 decibels which was preset to down to zero so there was no boost whatsoever and it removed that noise completely the only thing that it did do though was because there was no boost it meant that my microphone was really really quiet so I decided to put it on 10 decibels um, audio and 100% um, mic because that was on like 70%. And I've got it to an acceptable level or what I feel is acceptable. What it looked like was acceptable. Obviously, I'm going to watch this video back. Uh, so I might change my opinion. And then there was no noise there. It was just, you know, nothing. My voice, nothing. So if it keeps like that, it's good. Uh, one thing I have noticed, I don't know whether because I'm wearing my jacket or not. Uh, this rubs so this is the cable uh, this is what I was on about um, it's, I don't even know what to really call the fabric it's like velcro no it's not velcro I don't think it's velcro I don't know um, but one thing I did notice is there's no um, control box so on the turtle beaches if I get the turtle beaches here uh, you can see there's a control box which tells you to turn the uh, microphone off and the uh, sounds there's nothing on here as far as I'm aware there's no buttons actually there might be hold on okay so it's on here actually I don't know if you can hear me it's actually on here um, hold it the wrong way there you go you see it's actually there um, I'm trying to see if there's a, like a mic off button because I, I swear I read there was um, 
Yeah. So the mic off button is up here. So you got the mic off button and then the volume at the bottom. So top and bottom. So that's going to be a little bit weird to get used to, uh, rather than just having a uh, box that I just switch on and off on. Um, but yeah, overall, I think I'm just going to get used to it. It's not a bad uh, set of headphones from the five, ten minutes I've used. Uh, one thing I have noticed as well with the ears and stuff is um, they're almost like, I think, hexagonal. I don't even know if that's a word. But the way, it, like, it isn't circular. Um, I don't know whether I can show it to you. So it looks like it's circular, um, as you can see there. But when you actually go around it, I'm on the wrong one. Oh. When you actually go around it, uh, it like goes circular and then goes straight down. Uh, probably due to the red bits at the back here. Um, and it actually hurts a little bit on your ears. Uh, not too much, um, but it's again, it's like a um, like a little ache, so to speak. Uh, so you might find yourself doing this quite a bit to try and get yourself in the um, position. Um, your head is quite far away from this uh, because of the uh, sponge padding. I don't really feel anything to do with the sponge padding. Um, it just reminds me of my turtle beaches. Uh, maybe a little bit of pain. Maybe you'd want to, you know, move it up a bit like that so it's not really resting on you. Um, but yeah, obviously, I'm just doing this within five minutes. So opinions can change but anyway guys i think this is going to be the video uh this is a headset i don't know um <laughs> you know the box says it's the g1000 uh amazon said they were ace bows and the instruction manual no they, they say g1000 as well um done by Con uh, Conchon Electronics Tech Company, LTD, Dong Quan, um, Henji Town in China. So, I'm probably going to read this. Is this... Hold on. Is this manual all in Chinese? Okay, so that's weird. <laughs> so... It starts off with Chinese, or at least I'm, I'm assuming this is Chinese, Ben Ryan's a Chinese company. The contents page is all Chinese, yet you go on the first page and it's English. And then you keep going and it goes back to Japanese again. I don't, is that the same image? Yeah, it's the same image. So maybe it's like repeating it in different languages? Yeah, it is, because then there's French. That makes no sense, though, because, like, the f Oh, okay. Okay, now I understand. All right, so the picture the picture comes first, and then the second page. So it's like... Uh, hold on. It's Chinese, Chinese, English, English guess in Japanese, etc, uh, etc. Et so picture first, then the bit second. So anyway guys, this has been a really, really bad headset review. I have no idea how to do headset reviews. Uh, I'm going to turn these lights off probably because they are, well, they're not really too annoying. I don't notice them. The only reason I'm noticing them is because I'm looking on my screen on my left. So anyway, go oh, on all right, sorry. So anyway guys, this was Zarek. Right. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video, probably on Monday, hopefully with a good molly, um, with a good mic. Peace.